Yeah, yeah. Not. You may want to tell them the names of some of these because I'm sure. Like oh, the, the okay. One be, the uh, one before that one was the Moonlight Sonata, and it is well with my soul. Yeah, that's arranged by Cindy Berry, in case you wonder. Uh, that next one is uh, my arch nemesis. Johann Bach, <laughs> and uh, that was two-part invention number eight, for anybody who's taking notes. <laughs> um, I use that piece actually as a learning tool with uh, some of my piano students a, a couple of months ago. Um, and one of my piano students is here. Go ahead and raise your hand and wave at everybody. <laughs> teaching piano to kids, I would have said, you're crazy. Um, and it's, it's not because I don't like kids or anything like that, it's because I didn't see myself being able to teach anybody. And I, I seem to have done a good job. <laughs> but the thing about piano lessons, it's actually really cool. Now, now that I've done it for a year and a half or so, I, I really enjoy it. I think I do. Because um, it's one thing to learn stuff on your own, and um, it's one thing to learn stuff on your own, but it's completely different to see it from somebody else's point of view. And when you've been playing for a really long time, you start to forget those basic elements of music that just come so naturally to you. So, and to think about how to explain that to somebody and how to teach that to them, it's, it's actually very cool. I think it's um, kind of like parenting almost. <laughs> I assume it is because um, with parenting, it's one thing to go through it yourself and then another thing to watch somebody else and then be like, oh, so that's why they did that or that's why they said that. They were right the whole time. <laughs> yes. Yes. I was not necessarily a very good piano student. And my dad is giving me a funny look right now. Um, because my parents will argue up and down that I played the piano constantly and I constantly practice. Every morning before school? Well, yeah. There's a big difference, and I'd like to tell you there's a very big difference between practicing the piano and playing the piano. <laughs> I was going forward in the book and being like, oh, can I play this? And yes, I could. And oh, can I play this? I'd go on the internet and find music and print out all kinds of sheet music. You'll still find it all over the house at my parents' house, just sheet music scattered everywhere. And I'd go to the library and check out piano books because I just couldn't get enough music. But the stuff that my teachers gave me, I did not touch it most of the time. And, and I could get by with that because, and I've seen it with my piano students a lot. Um, I could get by with that because my base ability and my natural ability was so far ahead of what was going on in the books that I could come to a piano lesson without having played anything for the past week and then play something and sight read the piece essentially and my piano teacher will go, oh Danielle, that was so good, I can tell you what happens. And I would be like, yes ma'am. <laughs>
where I am today and to picking up my, with my lessons because they have bought, they have such pride in me and they really show it. They always ask me to play for them. They ask me to play for company. They tell me that I'm doing such a wonderful job. They've always done that. They've never told me to stop playing. They've never told me that I'm being too loud or that I was, wasn't doing well. And they would always say, oh, it's such a good job, even when it sounded awful. So I, I really want to thank my parents for that. <laughs> somebody right now. Um, this is a very special day. Not only is it a concert, but it's also my father's birthday. Oh. Oh. It's my dad's birthday, and I would like him to be... Thank you, Danielle. Um, I enjoy singing in the church choir. Uh, like me, I like uh, music that is sacred because this is the way my parents taught me. You have to sing this type of music instead of the Temptations. Well, I picked this song here. Uh, it was for Miss Daisy Hope. Uh, she retired here, as you all know. And I'm also going to sing these words to you. So when things get rough in school, just remember to keep your old my focus. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. 